Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Basketball. Six box, pick your team. Number six, all card ship in the pick your teams. And remember Jason did the uh, first half. We marked those six so we all know they're from the same case. And here is the final printout right here. Big thanks everybody here. Now, if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in our filler break before. And Ken got the last spot in Mojo before we pulled all those teams out, the remainder of the teams out for the filler. But no matter how you got in, I appreciate you getting in. And good luck. All right, so that's what we're, that's what we're looking for here. And one auto per box on average. Let's see what we got going on. What, what happened in the world of uh, basketball here? Well, not too much hoops action on Sundays when football is still around, but we got, got a few games on the schedule here. Jazz beat the Cavs. 109, 108. Hornets beat the Hawks, 130 to 127. Raptors took care of the Wizards, 102 to 90. Rockets beat the Pelicans, 118 to 108. That's it. Those are your games today. How did, uh,. What did Jayshon Tate do? Jayshon Tate had 11 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. I feel like he's been heating up a little bit. Played 32 minutes. Alright, so thanks everybody. See what we got here. Got a finals MVP, mosaic pattern. And that red Devin Vassell, not numbered, but all card chip here, of course. Got a nice James Weissman rookie card for the Warrior, Sean Maddock. Manual quickly, NBA debut. I like how that, that NBA debut is a little more subtle instead of that big banner from previous years. And we got a silver Anthony Edwards NBA debut card. That's for David B. and the T-Wolves. Nice. Good start. Got a Seku Demboya to 49. For the Pistons, that's going to be for Robert. And the National Pride, Tyrese Halliburton. All right, second half. Let's get that. Those National Pride cards. There's National Pride James Weissman. Let's 
THT, red for the Lakers. LeBron James. Another Anthony Edwards, this time base Anthony Edwards. Okay. Winding up for a monster dunk here, David B. with the T-Wolves. Let's see if we can find some parallels of that kid. And here's our autograph. It's Baron Davis. That's Warriors edition of Baron Davis. That'll be for Sean Maddock and the Wizards. When the Wizards, the Warriors. Different W team. Xavier Tillman, silver, rookie silver. That'll be for Jeff and the Grizz. We've got Obi Toppin, NBA debut. For the Knicks, David B. Patrick Williams Blue, 49 out of 99 for EA in Chicago. Here's De'Aaron Fox Overdrive insert. We also have a nice OB Toppin base card for David. Cole Anthony NBA debut for David. And the Patrick Williams, of course, EA with the Bulls. Nice. Next box. A little F1 on in the background. I know the results, but I just haven't seen the race yet. Next box, good luck. We've got a Devin Vassell, rookie silver for the Spurs. David B. Another Cole Anthony, he's been playing really well this season. And our first Lamelo. Lamelo Ball going to Sean Maddock and the Charlotte Hornets. Let's see if we can find some parallels for this kid. Cole Anthony having a nice uh, season in his second year. Here is uh, Larry Bird, 38 out of 99. All-time greats blue for Nick and the Celtics. Sean Tate. This stock is rising. This goes to Francesco and the Rockets. Sean Tate, NBA debut. Anthony Edwards, NBA debut. Emmanuel Quickly emerging right here as well. David B. And quickly getting some more minutes. Kemba not as involved. Emmanuel Quickly benefiting from that with minutes. 48 out of 49, Miles Turner for the Pacers. It's going to go to Brian K.
Tyrese Maxey making the making the most of his minutes. Jonathan with the Sixers. Now Giannis onto the combo stained glass. Nice. These are pretty cool. Bucks, that's going to be for Brian K and the Milwaukee Bucks. Picked up that team straight up. Thanks, Brian. Jabari Parker, red. And a nice LaMelo Ball NBA debut mosaic pattern. Insert, parallel. Nice, that's for Sean M. And the Charlotte Hornets. The Stairmaster, Steph Curry, gold? Yeah, four out of 10 on that one. Nice low number. A little color match too for the Golden State Warriors, Sean M. And a Jared Allen autograph for the Cavs. Andrew Richards, Cleveland, this is for you. Nice, and a Silver Luca. All right. Another box in the books. Next box. Matchups we have tomorrow on Monday on the basketball slate. Sixers at Hornets. Thunder at Pistons. Wizards at Pacers. Grizzlies at Heat. At Miami. Denver. The Nuggets are in Chicago. Cavs are in Milwaukee. Hawks are in Minnesota. Spurs are in Phoenix. Orlando is at the Warriors, and the Clippers are in Portland. Next box, good luck. Tyrese Halliburton. Rookie card for the Kings. That's going to go to Steve Birch. Anyone remember what, uh, what, what if anything was pulled in the first half? Was the first half this great or not great? Sometimes when the first half isn't very good, the second half can be great. Ooh, and a silver lamello ball, nice. Sean Maddock and the Charlotte Hornets. Nice. First half was amazing, says David B. All right, well, hopefully that trend continues here in the second half. There's Al Horford, 19 out of 99. That's Prince for Andrew B and OKC.
And we'll do a we'll do a little recap at the end of this video as well. Wow, so the first half had a Lamello redemption. Well that pairs nicely with the Lamello silver. I think Sean Maddock had him in both, right? In the full case. My guess. James Weissman for Golden State, Sean. Got a Tyrese Maxey red. Why did he lift? Here's Lamelo Ball, National Pride. I think those straight fire cards are supposed to also be somewhat rare. And the autograph behind Larry Bird is Nick Richards, rookie autograph for the Charlotte Hornets. Lakers, that's going to be for Josh Smith. All right, next box. Next box, we're halfway through this half case break. Got three more on us to go and hopefully maybe a low number parallel, a train whistle parallel. That'd be pretty nice out of five and under. It's NBA debut, LaMelo Ball, all of those add up. Michael Bridges for the Suns, 43 out of 99. That'll be for Steve Birch. Tyrese going to the Kings, that'll also be for Steve. And an Anthony Edwards mosaic parallel. Nice one for David B. and the Timberwolves.
James Wiseman. And a Dame Lillard, pink, 48 out of 49. Straight fire, Trey Young. Short print for the Hawks. National Pride, Anthony Edwards. David B. with the AE. There you go. Probably a base if I missed it. All card chips. If I, I'm inevitably going to miss something. But everything will ship. But while we're at it, is there a Jay Sean too? Hmm. Yeah, I saw I it's just a base. I found it. I knew I knew it was nearby. But if I miss any of those, don't worry, our our top rated sorting and shipping team will catch all of those. I'm so keyed into looking for like low numbered parallels. Sometimes I forget those base cards. And we've got a Danny Manning autograph for the Clippers. Daniel Barnes with the clip show. He's a Jaspi employee, not a clown, Harry. Come on. That's my coworker, colleague. Well respected here at Jaspi's. I don't appreciate personal attacks against my coworkers. No, this is quite the opposite, Rex. This is an all-card ship break, not a no-ship break. Next box, good luck. And we got a Tyrese Maxey NBA debut silver for the Sixers, that's for Jonathan. Got a Josh Richardson blue, 81 out of 99. Well, no, no one does, Rex, actually. Let's not try to encourage that.
Josh Green, red. Dallas. Rookie Red, the Emmanuel Quickly NBA debut, and another James Weissman. Okay, see another stained glass coming up. Tim Hardaway Silver, Gordon Hayward, Blue Chips Anthony Edwards, and a, no, a Swagger. Insert. And a white parallel, 24 out of 25. Detroit, Robert. Yeah, we still do whatnot a few few times a week. Sometimes Evan is on there. Evan's doing more stuff on the uh, on the shop floor level though. He's helping us out there at the moment. We'll be topping for the Knicks, David B, and Cole Anthony for Orlando. It'll be also for David B. Another uh, Jay Sean Tate for Houston. That's going to be for Francesco. Not yet. It's not every night yet. We're working towards it. And they're straight fire. Luka Doncic, Dallas. Ken with that one. That card is on fire. Here's the NBA debut, LaMelo Ball. Another one for uh, Sean M and Charlotte. Tyrese Halliburton, rookie card for the Kings, Steve Birch. We got the auto coming up. See Stewart. And the auto is going to be Jarrett Jack. That's for Portland. That's going to go to Brian, who won that spot in the filler. What are my thoughts on Tate? Too old? How old is he? He's not that old, is he? He's 26? Hmm. I didn't realize he was 26. Tank? Did he play? He must have played... Did he play like three or four years of college? No, he played he played for Antwerp. He played internationally for a couple of years. He was undrafted, played internationally for a couple of years and then ended up on the Rockets. Huh. I, I and he played 4 years in college. He played from 2014 to 2018 at Ohio State. And then internationally, Europe, Antwerp and Sydney, it looks like before settling with the Rockets in 2020. I had no idea. I think, yeah, I think, I think it's nice because you can kind of buy low on him like in sets like this. I think his ceiling is a, limit, is a little limited though because he is 26. As crazy as that sounds, 20, 26 is young every, any, in any other profession except for basketball. Um, he's having a great season, though. He's getting opportunities. He's getting minutes. I'm sure he's fundamentally sound. You all, he's always going to play. He's always going to be on the court. I don't know what. What are we hoping from him? He's averaging. He's averaging what? Regular season averages twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twelve and a half points, 
6.6 rebounds, 2.5 assists, just under a block a game. I mean, if he always plays, plays fundamentally sound, I think he's always going to have a job. I mean, what's his, what's his ceiling? You want him to get at least like... You're hoping he could grow to at least get like 15, maybe 15 and 15 and 10 a night would be nice from a small forward. Maybe 15 and nine, some assists. It's kind of weird. I think some of the material that the coating material kind of screwed that up a little bit. There's a Sadiq Bay. We'll just kind of slide that there. PJ Tucker, 42 out of 99. I don't know. What do you think, Tank, about Jay Shante? There's PJ Tucker. James Harden stained glass. I mean, I would have loved it if he was, he was putting up these numbers like at 19, 20 years old. And you're like, okay, you can kind of see, you can kind of see something emerging there. Yeah, Tank's thinking, hope hope when his minutes are max, he peaks in about one or two years, 16 to 18 point average. All right, maybe like seven, seven, to, seven to nine rebounds a night, a few assists. Probably do a lot more stuff on the, uh, probably do a lot more work on the stuff that, doing stuff that's like not on the box score kind of thing. I feel like he's that kind of guy. Like he'll do a lot of things that don't show up on the box score. I wonder, I mean, I'm looking at the Rockets and I'm just like, why Why don't they just, they're not going to trade John Wall, right? Who's going to take John Wall? You know what I mean? Why not just play John Wall? I mean, let's look pretty decent. I guess if Kevin Porter Jr. was healthy, but Kevin Porter Jr., Day to day, Eric Gordon, Jay Sean Tate, Christian Wood, you know, Donnell House Jr. hit some threes off the bench. They still got Kenyon Martin Jr. out there too. It's kind of a kind of an interesting team there. You know, I mean, unless you think, unless you think John Wall is just gonna completely you know, stunt the development of these youngsters. You almost want to put him out there and just be like, all right, let's see what we can do. What's their right? They're seven and 16 right now. You don't think John Wall adds like, you don't think he adds like five more wins to that team at, by this point? There's RJ Hampton, Denny Avija. I don't know. Yeah, quick flip or hold on uh, Jay Sean Tate. I mean, what are what are what are like? What's the Jay Sean Tate market like right now? And there's Mike Conley, autograph of the Utah Jazz. And that's for Daniel. I mean, my gut, I'd have to look at the numbers a little more carefully, but my gut feeling is is that his stuff probably isn't super high right now. 
and a little bit of extra coating there. I'm sure it's not super super high right now. So even if even if you miss the peak of his value, it's not like you're gonna. I don't feel like you're not gonna lose too much. So I mean, if you have a handful of Jay Sean Tates, yeah, it's rising but not too crazy. One, I mean, you don't have to like. Let's say whatever your position is on Jay Sean Tate. I don't know. You could you can move like half of it, keep half, grade some stuff, just kind of see what happens. Because you never know in the NBA. You know, if you have multiple Jay Sean Tates, you can. I don't think you have to keep a hundred percent of it. You can move some of it, just to get some cash going, and then just hang on to a few. Just in case. This is James Weissman, NBA debut silver. Nice. For Sean M. and the Warriors. Nice finish and a Tyrese Halliburton rookie card. And there you go. 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Basketball in the books. That was six box. Pick your team number six. Uh, I don't know who that is, Rex. Not a bad break. Bunch of Anthony Edwards's, Lomelo balls, some straight fires. Some that Steph Curry was to ten stairmasters. Giannis stained glass. And I really there's that NBA debut silver Anthony Edwards, and I really like that Lomelo silver right here, as well rookie silver. And there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We've got three box random team breaks in the store if you want to chase, uh, chase spots in that and chase some monsters. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next basketball break.